Hi, I'm Mike from the Parker store. Routing and installing a hydraulic hose is more than simply tightening metal connections. Hoses don't last forever, but by observing a few routing rules, you can help maximize their life. Metal tubing has a much longer service life than hose, but it's not flexible. Hydraulic hose is designed to transfer pressurized fluid while the hose itself is in motion. When installing hose where the routing is basically a straight line, the length must be longer than the distance from port to port. When the hose is pressurized, a diameter increases to contain the force, and this means that the length itself will decrease. Depending on the pressure, the length may decrease by as much as 4%. This means a three-foot assembly could shorten by as much as two inches. So, if there isn't enough slack, the hose fitting connections will be stressed, causing a leak. Or worse, the hose could pull loose from the fitting, causing a catastrophic failure. Allowing enough slack is important, but too much slack can introduce new risks, such as hose abrasion or snagging on nearby components. While hydraulic hose is flexible, it does have mechanical properties that limit its flexibility because of the wire reinforcement. One of those limitations is the hose minimum bend radius. This is how much you can bend the hose before the wire reinforcement begins to kink, going from a smooth arc to a sharp corner. Think of it this way. Take two ends of a cut hose with each hand and form the letter U. The distance between the hose bend diameter and half that is its radius. Some hoses have better flexibility with a smaller bend radius than others. See the Parker Hose Catalog 4400 or ask your Parker Store professional about the bend radius needed for your application. Another important rule to follow when installing hydraulic hose assemblies has to do with the area between the metal fitting and the flexible hose material. When you need the hose to bend immediately near the metal fitting, the rule is to keep the hose straight for at least twice the outside diameter, or OD. So if the hose outside diameter is a half an inch, you want the hose to remain straight for one inch beyond the metal fitting. If this is not possible, then consider using a 90 degree or 45 degree elbow fitting instead of a straight. When fluid under pressure at high speeds enters the hose, you don't want it crashing into the inner core tube because over time, this will quickly deteriorate the core and dramatically shorten the service life of your hose. If you keep it straight for at least two outside diameters, or ODs, this should maintain a smooth flow of fluid into the hose and minimize premature core tube failure. While hydraulic hose is flexible, it does have mechanical properties that limit its flexibility because of the steel wire reinforcement. One way to reduce mechanical strain is by avoiding hose twist. The continuous label writing on the side of the hose is called the lay line. When you install the hose, look at the lay line. If it appears like a stripe on a candy cane, then the hose was twisted during installation. Loosen the ends and tighten again using two wrenches, or double wrenching. Use one to hold and the other to tighten. The next routing rule is also focused on preventing hose twist and simply stated, you want to limit the bending motion of the hose to a single dimensional plane. Think of it this way. A hose that is bending left to right is moving in a single plane or dimension, as would a hose that is moving up and down or forward and backward. Any combination of left to right, forward to backward, up to down represents two planes of motion, and all three represent three planes of movement. Multiple planes of motions is called a compound bend and this can cause the hose to twist because the hose ends are fixed and held tight. This routing rule is to limit the motion to a single plane. However, if your application requires hose movement to cross multiple planes, then ask your Parker Store professional for a recommendation. One of the primary causes of premature hose failure is from abrasion that removes the outside cover exposing the steel wire reinforcement. When the steel wire reinforcement is exposed to moisture, it begins to rust and deteriorate, reducing the hose service life. This routing rule is to clamp the hose so that it is held in place and supported, preventing abrasion. 
Hoses rubbing against each other can also cause abrasion, so each hose should be clamped individually. If the use of clamps is not possible, then there are other abrasion resistant choices from Parker. Just ask your Parker store professional. Have you ever had to loosen a connection, but in order to get a wrench on the nut, you had to take apart or remove obstructions or buy a special tool? The routing rule of planning for future maintenance can be a real time saver. Take for example a hydraulic manifold, where multiple hoses are stacked one on top of each other in a small place. To reach the hose connections in back, you need to remove those in front. Oh, and don't forget which hoses are connected to the ports. This could be avoided by using different combinations of hose ends and tube fittings. There are short and long straights, as well as short and long elbows. They could make the job much easier. This is just one example of how planning for future maintenance can make those hose replacements faster, reducing downtime. Let's recap the basic routing rules for hose. Hose shortens under pressure by as much as 4%, so allow just enough slack. Do not bend the hose smaller than the minimum bend radius. Keep the hose straight for at least two times the outside diameter. Inspect hose for twists using the lay line and always double wrench the final assembly. Limit hose bending motion to a single plane. Clamp hoses to prevent abrasion and plan for future maintenance. By following these simple rules, you can help maximize the service life of your hydraulic hose. Your Parker Store professional can help you with additional information and to answer questions you have about proper hose selection, routing, and installation. Remember, your Parker Store is a great resource not only for hose and fitting service, but also for tube fittings, adapters, quick couplers, and many other fluid power components. Thank you for your business and taking the time to learn about routing rules.